they are not only for the Shi'as, but for all human beings. In our Shi'a, where? Assalamu alayka ya sahib al-asli wa zaman. Assalamu alayka ya khalifa tar. Rahman. Assalamu alayka ya sharika al. Assalamu alayka ya ka'ba tar. Assalamu alayka ya imamana wa imam al-insi wa al-jam. Not Imam al-Muslimin wal-Jah, Imam al-Ins wal-Jah, the Imam for all men and all the jinns. Subhanallah. Further than that, in the Quran, the famous ayah that we all know, the ayah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed about Rasulullah. Surah Anbiya, chapter number 21, verse 107. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ Rasulullah was a rahmah lil'alameen. Many a times our Imams, they have said that the Mahdi will be just like Rasulullah. The circumstances that surrounded Rasulullah will be just like the Mahdi. He will also be encountered with major difficulties, just like Rasulullah. Therefore, if Rasulullah was Rahmah lil Alameen, then the Mahdi will also be Rahmah lil Alameen. And Imam Mahdi is not only mentioned within our literature. He is not only mentioned within our books, but he is mentioned within various world scriptures, other religious scriptures. Well, Imam Mahdi is mentioned within the Bible, he is mentioned within the Buddhist scriptures, he is mentioned within the Hindu scriptures, within the Sikh scriptures. However, I do not have time to discuss all these scriptures. And Allah testifies to the fact that the Mahdi is mentioned within all these religious scriptures. Allah says, yes, Imam Mahdi, Imam Zamana is mentioned within other religious scriptures. Where? Surah Anbiya, chapter number 21, verse number 105. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَقَدْ كَتَبْنَا فِي الزَّبُورِ مِنْ بَعْدِ الذِّكْرِ أَنَّ الْأَرْضَ يَرِثُهَا عِبَادِيَ الصَّالِحُونَ That Allah says, we have mentioned within the Zabur, within the book of Psalms, that the righteous ones shall inherit the earth. Those people who are good human beings, they are the ones who will inherit the earth. Sixth Imam, Imam al-Sadiq, he was once asked, that Imam al-Sadiq, this verse, can you explain us? Can you give us the tafsir of this verse? Who are these righteous ones who shall inherit the earth? Imam al he said that the righteous ones are the followers of the Mahdi. These are the ones who will inherit the earth. But Allah makes an additional point. Allah says that the righteous ones shall inherit the earth. That means Imam Mahdi and his followers, they shall inherit the earth. However, Allah says, we have mentioned within the Zabur, within the book of Psalms, within the Bible. Where is it in the Bible? Allah says, we have mentioned within the Bible that the righteous ones shall inherit the earth. That means the Mahdi and his followers, they are the ones who shall inherit the earth. Where is it in the Bible? Till today, this verse is present in the Bible. In the book of Psalms, Chapter number 37 in the Bible, Book of Psalms, chapter number 37, verse number 29. It states that the righteous ones shall inherit the earth and they will dwell in it forever. And Imam al what did he say? That the righteous ones are the followers of the Mahdi. These are the ones who shall inherit the earth. There are many other verses within the Bible that refer to the Mahdi. However, I will not mention all of them. Further than that, within the Bible, in the second Timothy, chapter number three, verse number one to five, there are signs that are mentioned, that these signs will occur at the end of times. Our scholars and the Aimmas, they have said, yes, it's true. These signs will happen before the Mahdi reappears. Therefore, the Bible says, at the end of times, you will notice this kind of behavior. However, this will happen at the end of times. But our scholars and the Ahlul Bayt have said, yes, before the Mahdi reappears, these things will occur. What are these things? Let me mention a handful of them. There are more than 20 signs given. However, I will only mention a few of them due to lack of time, insufficient time. The Bible states that at the end of times, meaning before the Mahdi reappears, people will be uplifted in pride. Do you know? 
we are actually arrogant and we are proud of what we have, then in reality we are following the footsteps of Fir'aun. If we say we are followers of Ali, but you are arrogant, you have pride within you, in reality you are a follower of Fir'aun. What? Quran, Surah al dukhan chapter number 44, verse number 31. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Min Fir'auna, innahu kana aliyam min al-musrifin. That Fir'aun, who was he? He was a haughty human being, a haughty human being. And he was an extravagant human being. What does it mean by haughty? A person who is disdainfully arrogant. A person who is snobbish. He is proud, he is arrogant. Further than that, Rasulullah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Allah. 